Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drop the reviews and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm back in my Volkswagen Tiguan All Space R line. So this is the four motion configuration. And I do want to share the thoughts I have with this car, of course, both the good as well as the bad and the issues and quirks of this car so far for the past month uh, approximately i've been using this car so without further ado if you haven't subscribed to this channel do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post so without further ado let's begin this video okay guys so i'm going to start off with the bad uh, as usual because I do want to end with a good note so I'm going to start with the issues I've had with this car so far so the first major issue for me was actually the passenger door so the passenger door had some issues I guess it was only for my unit so I'm not sure whether other users have experienced this worldwide but at least for my unit I had the problem with the door lock so the door would unlock but it wouldn't budge so that means the door was jammed so I went back to Volkswagen of course they did get the issue settled for me but it took like two to three tries so which means uh, approximately four days for them to actually get everything settled so the first time i sent it in i said the door wasn't working you know my passengers were having like a hard time trying to get out of the car so that was actually a great safety concern from my end so what would happen was that the lock wouldn't release the first time uh the door would actually be like jammed in so sometimes i would have to come out of the car just to open the door for them you know that is kind of crazy considering the price of this car they should actually qc this car properly before handing it over over to the customers i know uh, there are many other worse issues of course like the alternator uh, the car not be able to start after like a couple of days uh, but this car so far touch wood everything has been fine except for the door which is one of the major issues which i had with this car the door wouldn't budge so after the first attempt uh, it did get slightly better uh, at least there was the pop when you open the door handle there was actually the pop so when the lock released there was actually the popping sound but the door was still jammed so which means there was a slight alignment problem i mean uh if you tell me it was like from other cheaper makes like malaysian make i would understand you know because those cars cost like a very small fraction of the cost of this car but uh coming from um uh, a big brand like Volkswagen international brand at least uh, I believe that they need to up their QC with especially with the door alignments and stuff I mean this is something that should not happen uh, especially with a car above 200,000 or let's say above 100,000 I believe they should actually take a look at their QC but of course the Tiguan you do have to take in consideration not only the Tiguan actually even the Golf the Arteon the Passat all these are locally assembled and yeah in my experience a locally assembled car cannot be compared to a CBU car which means a CKD car cannot be compared to a CBU car that is the truth so I'm sure if you guys have been using like previous Volkswagen cars that were CBU like for me I'm using the Volkswagen Sirocco and in terms of the quality wise uh, of course they're on a different platform that was the older platform but in terms of quality wise the fitment the finish the door panels all this uh, even for a 10 year old car my Sirocco was registered in 2012 so even that for 10 year old car there are no rattles trust me there are no rattles and overall I think the soundproofing is much better on that car uh, even if you compare with the Passat CC Passat CC versus the Arteon but of course this car comes with 19 inch rims yes definitely bigger rims lower profile tires you're going to get more road noise so yeah there's something I feel that yeah, is something lacking uh, is the soundproofing as well yes if you compare with other mix Japanese mix in fact this is so much better so much more refined but still I feel that the soundproofing needs some work considering that it is a $200 over $1,000 car so that's my own personal opinion of course you may share your views in the comments down below so anyways coming back to the door issue on the second try they actually got the alignment done so now the door opens and closes perfectly but I mean it shouldn't be done by the service center right it should be done by the assembly plant itself so there's one major issue we have had with the car that i needed to get addressed as soon as possible so i just went ahead and got it done so anyway the door it's fine now it closes properly so another thing is if you use apple carplay so this uh, unit supports android auto and apple carplay even wireless apple carplay so if you're using that on the daily you'll find that sometimes the music is playing on the head unit itself but it just doesn't come out there's like no sound coming out from the speakers so i do have to mute the heat unit and then bring the volume all the way back up to where it was and then it just comes on all of a sudden so i've experienced that many times and i think that it is a very minor issue the software update would definitely fix that but i find it pretty annoying to be honest but i guess uh it should be fixed in a couple of months to come so another thing which i faced in this car which 
was not settled because there's no software update is the rear camera when we reverse you know the camera turns on um, I've had many times where there was a slight lag so I mean when you're reversing a slight lag in the reverse camera will actually affect your estimation especially when you're pretty close to the car behind you so I feel that uh, the head unit really needs uh, some sorting out yeah the the air gesture thing yeah it's just a gimmick to me uh, it works once in a while so i believe that they should fix the head unit as well as the reverse camera everything with the software update so for me that is the only um downside i guess of this car other than that so far the car has been pretty good of course the car is still running in now my current mileage is 2461 kilometers which is uh Consider pretty fast if you compare with like the car is almost a month and it's almost 2,500 kilometers. But I've been enjoying the drive with this car so far and uh, now to the good things is that um, the car handles well. That's what I mentioned in my previous video, the car handles just like a sedan and I'm really enjoying so far. I bought this car, the gun thing, and I tried it just on drive mode not on sport mode just on drive mode because i was carrying passengers i didn't want it to be too bumpy so i just went on drive mode and i didn't even have to floor the pedal and the car just like climbed very well and there was no loss of traction of course this applies to the 4 motion 2.0 version of the tiguan if you're on the 1.4 i can't say much because i haven't used it but this car so far has been really good that's why if you're going to opt for the Tiguan all space, just go straight for the R-Line. Of course, you're going to say like, whoa, that's actually a very big price difference. It's like 179000 versus 219000 I believe, for the R-Line. So it's a very big difference. I can buy another like a local car for the, for the difference, you know. But if you factor in that you're getting so much more with this car in terms of drivability, in terms of power, in terms of traction, safety, I believe that that is a really good investment and of course you're driving on slippery road you can activate the snow mode so the snow mode of course in malaysia we don't have snow so the snow mode we can use it during a heavy rain so the car would not actually lose traction that easily so coming to the things that i actually did with this car uh the week i actually got it uh, of course i didn't mention the previous video but the week i got it uh i actually did the tin thing so this tin the full car tin was actually done by m pro in puchong uh, of course it did cost a pretty hefty sum and personally i believe that you should go to main car accessories uh best personal preference but i believe main car accessories actually does a more value for money job uh, my co code is done there all my previous cars were done there in terms of the tin uh, so yeah if you're willing to spend a bit more and get 10 years warranty with your car of course you're not going to be using this car for 10 years but the 10 year warranty and of course the brand uh, definitely you can head over to Ampro because I think they do a pretty good job. Okay, so that goes for the tin. Of course, I did do PPF, which is very, very necessary. You know, the Malaysian roads, you tend to get like stone chips very easily because the road is not that clean also, um, at least for where I drive the car to. So I did my PPF at Ampro. So I did my both mirror caps as well as my headlamps and fog lamps. So I believe that's the bare minimum PPF you can do for the car. So that's something to start off with when you buy the car. Of course, if I had the budget, I would definitely go for like a full front PPF because I think that's like the best you can do for the car. You don't need to go full car PPF, which is very, very expensive. You just need to have the front PPF, the bumper, the hood, the fenders, uh, the mirrors, the lights, and that's about it because you can't really PPF the front windscreen. You can just buy insurance for that. So that's like the most basic stuff you can do when getting a new car at least so that's all for this video guys i uh, hope you guys like this video so if you have any comments or questions you can drop it in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer all of them but anyways this is so far my one month with the volkswagen tiguan all space r line and been a blast driving this car so definitely do subscribe to this channel if you do want to see more diy videos especially on this car and also mods that i'll be doing with this car so definitely this engine and the transmission and of course the all-wheel drive system is very versatile so you can do so much with it you got a tune and lots of supporting mods because this engine has been in the market for a while now so if you consider like an suv that has so many supporting mods i mean that is really really awesome uh, especially for me because i'm a car guy okay, so that's a conclusive video hope you guys like it if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video